best one was that 1986 isometric one. Do you remember that? It, it was it was very sh it wasn't really a Batman game because it was Batman, but he just sort of potted around collecting stuff, and there were some weird monsters. But when I first played it, I went around a mate's house and he had it on the Amstrad PCW, which is an incredibly random machine. But he had a colour screen, not a green screen, so you've got a Batman game with. I'm so old. I, I, I genuinely can't understand how there are gaming fans still loyal to Destiny because it just seems the amount they've been messing around with, I think it's like the light system with 2.0, they just big on, you know how you work for thousands of hours on that? That's gone, forget about that. It's, it, it's dreadful, it's, it's, al it's almost like people who are loyal to Destiny have got the video gaming equivalent of Stockholm Syndrome. The, the main thing that stood out for me was how ridiculous the opening cinematic was. Just the whole, why do we race? Is it to find out how fast we are? Yes. The, ca the characters, the mascots, they give you something to hang the branding on. Like, if, even now, 20 years later, if you see Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, that makes people smile. Even though, yeah, in the last 20 years, his, his career's been about as successful as Keith Chegley's. I'm somebody who likes the 100% things, all the collectibles, the honeycomb, the musical notes, the little gingos that are weird. I've, I've never been so happy wasting my life. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh Christ. Oh no. So you'll have to do you'll have to do that again. Because uh Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, now they're all right. The guys are all right. I mean, I don't know how they're not dead, because everything was on fire for ages, but, I mean, Raymore, they actually look incredibly calm, don't they, if you... No, they're delighted. They're, well, if they're happy, I'm happy. 71 metres. Not too shabby. I'm sorry about everything. I mean, it's got to be the crying babies, hasn't it? You play that game with headphones, and I defy anyone to not accidentally create themselves a cushion made of poo. Initially, I had no idea how I was going to answer this question, but I would now say my favourite dinosaur is the Stegosaurus, because when I googled best dinosaur, I found a website called thebestdinosaur.com, which has nothing on it except a cute picture of a Stegosaurus. Gadgets. Gadgets. Always gadgets. If I wanted to play a stealth game without gadgets, I could just play hide and seek, and that wouldn't cost me 50 quid. I think the ones I probably enjoyed the most were the Batman Arkham games, so City and Asylum as well, particularly. Uh, whereas I, I could understand the rules in the Batman games, whereas I played Metal Gear Solid 4 and I have, I have no understanding of how that works. I've, I've, I've no idea why sometimes I was just invisible and other times everybody in the area knew to find me behind a bin and shoot me. I, de I definitely preferred the Arkham Trilogy. I found, I found the Nolan stuff, it was very dark, it was quite hard work. Especially the Bane stuff, he sounded like an obese frog with a 40 a day habit. Yeah, I know how games work. Or more, more accurately, how Dan Ma's horrible mind works. Has he put something in there? Yeah. <laughs> of course he has. Yeah, he's made it absolutely impossible, hasn't he? Oh, you little swine. Okay. Oh, you... No! No, no, no. Balls. Steady. No! No! <laughs> no, not now. Oh, that's so hard. Right, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I feel sick. I used to like, see, I used to like Mario. I used to really like it. Sign, right, that's going to turn the coins into the path. Come here. Oh, did I do it? For, for me, as someone who's been a member on the forums where Slender Man originated for over 10 years, hello goons, uh, the scariest thing about Slender Man is that some silly photoshopping on an internet forum can become this real massive thing in the world with, you know, with all the stories that you hear about people freaking out about it a little bit. Internet people shouldn't have that much power. That's the scariest thing about Slender Man. Well, they're getting near present day now, so I'm actually hoping 
For the same reason that I'm excited about London, because I know London quite well, maybe do my hometown, maybe do Milton Keynes, possibly in the, like in the 80s when it was in its heyday. Uh, get the point. Do you know the point? Like, um, it was the first multiplex in the UK, 10 screens, not a big deal now, but it was then. It was the first one that had like, multiple screens and it had 10, all housed under a giant like red neon pyramid for no discernible reason whatsoever. So that'd be quite good to climb up that. So it's sort of like Blackpool, but with none of the class. Oh, Blackpool. Do Blackpool, that's better. It's because it was the one game this year that my wife enjoyed playing along with. Uh, so that was really nice. So I, I, I need more games like that in 2016 so that I don't have to sit in the little room and play them on my own. More movie stuff, I think maybe like Gravity or Life of Pi, um, Castaway with Tom Hanks, because those are all movies with just one character in them, so they can't sell me 20 toys I don't need. I don't, underst I don't understand why there's so many games that are doing it. When I, I, I mean, I know I'm, I'm banging about being old, but when I was a kid, if I wanted a computer game, I got a computer game. If I wanted a toy, I got a toy. Like, if I want to have breakfast, I, and I, I want a coffee, I need the kettle. I don't have to buy a toaster and plug that in as well before the kettle will let me boil water. They're thieves. I think, I think probably the end, the end game for all the Toy Story stuff is Walt Disney's reanimated corpse giggling in a swimming pool full of the world's pocket money. Here we are. No, stop it! No, Steve, I just said I'm unarmed. Steve, I just said I'm unarmed. Right, Where well, are you? I, I Where you are see you just... holding a gun. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's an optical illusion. Up. What's an optical illusion? My gun. Oh, oh right. Uh... Did you actually just try and convince someone your gun was an optical <laughs> illusion? <Yes. laughs> and it worked. That's the most upsetting thing. <laughs> Where are you? I'm toilet gonna... fight, toilet, toilet fight. fight. I'm coming Everyone's to play. in the toilet. <laughs> toilet oh, fight. Bring me to the Just find a gun. <laughs> You've got them all. There aren't any. You, you took them all. You guys are insufferable. Right. Oh, Steve, come back here. Nice. Right, that's it. Shut. <laughs> no! Steve! <laughs> back off. Are you on the toilet? Oh, it's so good. Get in. I'm not going to die like Elvis. I'm going to come in with the girl in the bathroom. Bye. Steve, wave.